In non-time study modes, when I click, for instance, into the subjects area here, you can see what I've done here. I've actually got, uh, I've color-coded my subjects here. Uh, when you do the a non-time study mode and you go to the summary, you get a different format, right? It's picking up on whatever mode you're in here. There are different operators and they're all color-coded and so forth in here, which is good. Now, there's one additional feature you get when you're in non-time study mode. You're able to uh, double-click on any one of these and it will show you the detail of the content that's going into that. So you can see the uh, the actual activities that have been included in the summary. So for instance, if I was to take say I don't want this one in the summary, my value here instead of being 11 should drop down to like 8.4 or some 8.3. So I close out of that and you see it changing right there. It changes all the other values. So this is the ability to double click and see the content that goes into a particular value in one of these groupings that you have here. Now in this example, I've only got one task, but there's a whole bunch of observations going rolled into that. So you can see what I can do here. I can say use averages. So if I check, let's say my buff bottom, I check this here, it will automatically deselect all of these buff sides that I made there. So it's buff sides I highlighted. I checked it. It deselected all of these. And what it's going to do now, it's going to use an average value in the total time for the buff sides rather than adding them all up here. And that should actually drop the value a little bit there. You see how it dropped down there, right? Because I've eliminated some of the observations and rolled it over into an average here. So what this is basically showing you is that you can select the, you can deselect particular observations you don't want to include in your values just by clicking on them and moving out. And it'll change the value to re reflect that. Um, or we can s select them all. Or we can do averages on one or more items. So we could say I want an average on the buff sides, the buff bottom. And these ones, so that's only going to leave us three data items, but it's going to take the averages and put them into this value I have right here. So this is a very good way of letting you drill down into the data that you might be looking at. Uh, you see I've got some inspection time down at the bottom here as well. That's why that number is so high there. Right, so it's taking the average of these three plus the time for the one inspection element I have down here to give me the total value here. So the key thing here is to remember that you can double click in any non time study mode. You can double click and see more detail of what's making up the values that you see listed in the summary sheet.